Hey guys, this is Needles. In War of the Visions, let's see how does an evasion team performs in the current meta. A lot of players thought that evasion teams are long dead, but upon creating this video, I realized that they are viable versus the current kings of meta like Twain, Helena, and Kingmon. First, I'd like to show you a couple of matches showcasing the final setup of my evasion team. I'm going to explain the build in depth by the end of the video, so stay with me on this one. Are you prepared to match the eyes? Rising! Fight to the very own. end! Anyone who can this way! Fight and burn it, and we'll do it! Darkness, the deepest darkness, is what darkness is. Are you prepared to match the eyes? Now for the next clip, I'll show you how a lucky shot can move in your day.
For the setup, the absolute must-have for an Ibation team is an Ibation BC like Shiba or Titan for Earth units. You also need a lockup BC such as Maiden of the Rose and Secrets of the Heart. For Espers, you can use whatever you like. I simply use them to manipulate the agility of my characters. In my setup, I want Stern to move first because it will let him cast Illusion on Venera for more evade. Plus, it will make him stay back for a while. To get the most out of Shiba BC, the ideal carrier for it are mages or magic attackers such as Garbal and Moor. You can put it on a tank but having a tank on an evasion team is kinda useless plus two of our members are already physical attackers so a magic attacker will help us bring down tanks. For Benera, she's our frontline. Basically an evasive tank because her stats and equipments are more capable compared to Stern's. I turned off her blood pack to make her AI prioritize casting bells. We don't need blood pack because we're not expecting her to get hit. In case of getting blasted by Holy, it will still one shots her whether she's in blood pack or not. Additionally, having that skill over bells will render her AP less on her second turn. I picked dual gunner as her sub job because its skills has wider range and for more damage type variety. First turn, a dodge type ribbon is a must. It gives him a total of 25 evasion. Then the apron for more AP and defense penetration. I use Omega BC instead of Exorcist mostly for agility manipulation. And we already have slash resist penetration from Maidens of Rose on Venera. Omega BC also improves our magic resist, HP, and slash attacks. Then Samurai sub job for illusion. I chose Evasion up over Desperation to increase his survivability even more. A plus 60% attack doesn't really help if he's dead. I think that's all for my setup. If you want to know more or if I miss something, let me know down in the comments. For the conclusion, uh, they are quite good versus the current meta teams that I mentioned earlier but it requires extensive adjustments, configuring the right espers, BCs, resonance, and equipment in order for them to work. Not to mention their strict placement and ability toggles. And after all that, one lucky shot will gonna win your day. Overall, I'm happy with the results. As you can see, we've shown Dwayne that Stern is still the king of the dark element. Let's wrap up this video. Once again, this is Needles. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.